What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video with the Roshank Redemption. Today we're playing some more Pokemon Sacred Gold Sinister Challenge. In the last episode, we kind of just barely defeated Whitney. Um, and this episode we're going to be moving on in the game. Uh, and I'm excited as usual to be moving on. Um, let's talk to this person. Pretty good at mechanics, okay. No, I don't really care. Was I being a backseat driver? What the heck? Okay. Alright, uh, we are using... Haunter right now. Let's go for a double battle here. Why not? Uh, Haunter and Shaylee, that's what I want. Shaylee is not at the front, though. Because Shaylee needs to evolve soon. Um, once it does, it's going to be a beast. I love Krana. I love me some Krana. You going to the gym? Me too. Uh, no, I actually just took on the gym. What kinds of Pokeballs do you use? Uh, I don't know, just normal ones. <laughs> I don't know. I love how two like random people will just come and like team up on you. Alright, we're gonna keep it rising out Hoodoo. Go, Kame and Shele. Great tag team here, Kame and Shele working together. Uh, let's go for an ominous win that Skip Loom and a Crab Hammer on that Hoot Hoot. Ominous wind. Uh, we are kind of over leveled here. <laughs> well, that's because I think maybe we were supposed to take on this route before we did Whitney. I don't know. Uh, at least it was an option, so I guess they didn't want to make the trainer levels too high. I have no idea. Probably something like that. Um, hopefully we can get through quite a few of the routes on the way to... Uh, oh my gosh, of course he missed. Oh, okay. That's not bad, I'm, I'm okay with that. Alright, uh, we're still gonna have to hit Hoot Hoot, unfortunately. We're gonna um, Ominous Wind Combustion, because we can't hit Hoot Hoot with a uh, Ominous Wind. This should kill anyway, because like we are... We just got a our, 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 our stat raise, so I mean... Yeah, okay. Um, I do also intend to return to Goldenrod, by the way, to pick up some of those TMs at the game corner, because you can buy coins in this game, he added that feature, so uh, I'm definitely going to try and do that. Crab Hammer! Death to Hoot Hoot. Holy crap, Shayla, I know you're seven levels higher, but jeez. Wrecked it. And I do have an EXP share on mine, uh, which is going to be helpful. Obviously. <laughs> Uh, wait, I'm actually gonna Nightshade this thing, because I think it might not be- I think it might be Psychic in this game, he might have changed that. No, he didn't, okay, figures. Alright, this might just kill it, honestly. Wow, okay, Shaylee, jeez. That's ridiculous. Um, yeah, I'm gonna try and avoid the trainer battles this episode, just so we can get some actual progression in the game. Oh, I couldn't win. Um, yeah. I'm sure it was all your partner's fault and not yours. Oh, great. Let me fix this now. No point in playing like that. Uh, we're gonna... We're not gonna avoid you, because then I think we have to battle that trainer. We don't want to do that. Um, yeah, we have to battle, that, we have to battle all uh, at these two regardless. He's gonna show his girlfriend that he's hot stuff. Okay. Alright, Camper Elliot. What a scrub. <laughs> Alright, we're just gonna ominous win this thing. Uh, I, mean, I don't know what else we were gonna do. Or I guess we could save PP and just Nightshade twice. That would probably kill it. I don't think it has too much health. Yeah, figures, okay. Well, it can't poison us. That's the one nice thing about having a poison type. We don't have to worry about poison with it, so... That's good, I suppose. Nightshade! This Sand Slash is down. Or Sand True. If it were a Sand Slash, that would probably be bad. Um, but it's not. Flaffy. Ooh, interesting. Flaffy. Um... I mean, this thing might just go down to two Nightshades as well. Probably not, actually, but it's worth a shot. Uh, we'll see. We'll see. Oh, yep, it doesn't. No! Oh, I should have just ominous winded. Gosh, Ron, you're an eight. Uh, oh, jeez. Thundershock, it's not gonna do much. Um, yeah, this thing is so slow. I'm actually, like, I wouldn't have been surprised if we'd outsped it while paralyzed. Um, <laughs> that would have been ridiculous, though. Haunter, you really need some better moves. Like, Ominous Wind is okay, but it's just really annoying to have only 5 PP with it. Um, do I have any Paralyze heals? Probably not, huh? Okay, well, we're gonna go to level 26 regardless. No new moves, which is just great. Mine go to level 23, though. That's awesome. Psy Beam, yes! So we can delete that stupid Psy Wave. Um, yeah, get out of here, Psy Wave. Alright, uh, mine is making some progress, which is nice. We're gonna have to get a Dust Stone too soon. Uh, I'm not sure where we can get that. 
Maybe we can get into the Pokeathlon Dome. Oh, I'm not really sure. I remember my last playthrough, it took me quite a while to evolve uh, Mr. Vice into Miss Magius. Miss Magius does have a slight buff in this game. Miss Magius had a 5 point base buff to all of its uh, special stats and its speed. Uh, to both of its special stats and its speed, I should say. Um, so, yeah, that's cool. We are going to go for two Nightshades here, I guess. I don't know. Sweet. Oh my god. Okay, we're switching out. Never mind. Darn it. The hacks in this game. It's like the creator deliberately made it so that you can just get Parafusion and like stuff like that. Wow, we broke through it. We're going to try it again just because I'm feeling good right now. Which usually means something bad's going to happen. Oh crap. This Pichu, this Pichu is going to somehow find a way to just wreck my entire team, probably. Please hit through it. Come on, Akame. Come on, Akame. Oh darn it. Okay. Try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then we'll switch. Oh, uh, this is so annoying. Akame, don't hit yourself. Please. Uh, yes, okay, good job, Akame. Wow, that wasn't bad. We only had a 25% chance to attack, and we attacked two out of three times. Um, I wonder what the percentage on that is. I really should know, because like just took Discrete Math, which has a lot of combinatorics and stuff, but um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, so. I mean, I'm sure if I sat down for a while and thought about it, then maybe I could figure it out. Alright, we're just going to wreck this Pikachu with a Ember, because I do not want to get static. I shouldn't have gotten into this thing. Well then again, what other better option did I have? I mean, this is like the best option. I'll, like, like Corefish would have had to make, make physical contact. Oh, well we one-shotted it anyway, so it didn't even matter, okay. Alright. Better feed a picnic or brook. Oh my, you're so strong. I know. Why don't you be my girlfriend? Sorry, that was very weird. I don't know why I said that. Uh, I do not want to deal with the paralysis, so we're going to raise up Shaylee a bit. Uh, Shaylee, I think, is actually going to evolve in three levels. Um, we're going to avoid that, dude. He's practicing his fire breathing. Um, I might try and turn it off nighttime um, at some point, just because I don't like playing during night, personally. Um, I don't like playing when the game is night, I should say. Um, so, yeah. Uh... <laughs> I'm not sure how much you guys will care though. I had to like turn the thing to night so we could catch Mischievous. Um, because at that time I think I was playing during the daytime. Uh, which I mean is kind of cheating, but kind of not. Like I'm not gonna wait to record just to catch Mischievous. Honestly, I mean, I'm totally okay with changing my DS clock. I don't consider that cheating. I mean, if I were like you know hacking in Master Balls, then yeah, that's freaking cheating. But we're not doing anything like that. I do not want to make contact with this thing, I do not want to get burned, so we're just going to Water Pulse. And hopefully kill, probably not. Yes, we didn't. Ember, please don't burn, please don't burn, please don't burn. Okay, thank you. Thank you for not burning. Alright, that's a dead Magmar. Sweet. Like I said, we're going to try and avoid the trainers in general, just because... I don't really want to deal... <laughs> I don't really want to deal with the trainers right now, I want to make some... I want to make some progress here. He scorched the tip of his nose. Okay, that's cool. So reach no. Oh, that makes me feel bad. Ah, eh, screw it. All right, we can do the bug catching contest at some point, but we're like not gonna do that uh, just yet. Uh, I don't think anyone like. Oh uh, well, she gives you like a soothe bell. Pay attention, please. Quit thinking like a teacher all the time. Yes, be a Pokemon trainer. Oh, Quick Claw. Okay. Uh, is that a, is that a change? Maybe it is. Hmm. I don't know if Pokemon even evolved by happiness in this game. The creator might have just changed all that, honestly. National Park is pretty cool, and there's some pretty cool Pokemon. Um, and I would love to show off the changes, but I'm more about trying to make some progress right now. Uh, so we're going to get that item, stroll around in here a little bit. Um, but after that, we're just going to leave, honestly. Talk to this person. Running to try and charge the Pokewalker. Okay, that's cool, dude. Oh, there's an item up there we can get with Rock Climb, which we clearly have. Shell Bell, I suppose that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's not bad, actually. That's not bad. It's worth getting. Yeah, there are a ton of good Bug-type Pokemon here, but I can't use Bug-type, unfortunately, um, in this game. Uh, oh, what the heck? That guy's just staring at us. You just, like, walk in, and the guy's just, like, staring right at your face. That's, like, so weird. Um, we... Shoot, who should we use? We can use Bulls. Um, get some uh, special attack EVs for Bulls. Hopefully she has like cadabras and stuff. Let me guess what you're thinking. Uh, <laughs> okay. 
Psychic. Oh, he. Darn it. Okay. Well, I was right about special attack EVs. Uh, this thing dies to one bite. Gosh, the gym fights are just so much harder than the normal trainer battles, honestly. Like, at this point, I can kind of just one shot most of the normal trainers' Pokemon, but, like, gym battles. That last gym battle was tough, and we honestly barely got through it. Like, if I hadn't trained up as much as I did, I don't think we would have won. Curly, yeah, we're just gonna do the same thing. Um, and Bulls is getting some nice special attack EVs, which I'm really happy about. Uh, yeah. I am really excited for our team to become fully evolved and ready. Um, I'm already I'm already thinking about like champion Lance. Uh, which who is the champion, uh, in case you guys have been living under a rock for like the past ten years. Which is very possible. Um <laughs> I don't know. I don't know who would actually live under a rock. Anyways, that's a dead cadaver. Uh do you kinda wanna raise up Shayla a bit? Maybe we'll get an evolution uh this episode. Who knows? I defeated Psychic Mark. I was wrong. Yes, you were wrong. Wait, you didn't even tell me what you thought I was thinking. You could have gotten it right, but you... But you said you were wrong before you even... I don't know, thought about it. I don't know what I'm trying to say. I'm the Flower Shop's floor. Yeah, listen, when I sprinkle the water, the tree jumped... Oh my gosh. Okay, that's a squirt bottle. Okay, we're gonna switch to Corefish, because this tree is not a grass type, in case you guys don't know. Um... Ooh, there's an odd tree. Use the squirt bottle. That's so that's so weird. Like I don't understand how you couldn't mistake this thing for a, how, how you could mistake this thing for a tree. It's like obviously a Pokemon. Like you'd think it would move if it saw like a person right next to it. Level 25. That's pretty high actually. All right, we're just gonna crab hammer the crap out of this thing. Um, crab hammer. Death to Sudowoodo. Um, oh wow, okay, it took that pretty well. Uh, we're just gonna kill this thing, by the way. Okay, it learned Crab Hammer, which is cool, but we're just gonna Water Pulse and kill it, so. That's the end of that, folks. That's the end of that. And that's a dead Pseudo Widow. Alright. I'm thinking, do we have time to take on the next gym this episode? Uh, cause we're close to Ecruteague, if I'm not mistaken. That was fun, I want to give you this for entertaining me. Berry Pot! Ooh, so you can give us some pot. I mean, pots. With the berry pots, you can go berry. Okay, whatever. Oh my gosh, okay. She's gonna hand us like a million berries probably and just waste my time. Petra berries. Actually, if you could give me some cherry berries, that would be nice. Because I hate paralysis. Oh, of course you don't give me cherry berries. I, I guess I should be thankful for poison healing berries though. You should go north here. Well, no crap. Well, I guess you could try to go right, but right's the wrong way for sure. Um, you had trouble with the boulder? Of course you have. People like, use the HM will come to your rescue. Turn the HM06. I believe that's how the Rock Smash was strength. Okay, Rock Smash. I don't actually think Rock Smash is necessary in this game. Um, like, you don't need it to complete the game, but it's definitely useful. She's gone. The Pokemon? Okay. <laughs> Alright. The odd tree is gone. Um, okay, we're gonna move on. Maybe we should talk to this guy just to be safe. Who are you? I'm Arthur of Thursday. Here, take this. Oh, whoa, okay, that's cool. Um, we got an item. That moves. Well, we don't have any, we're not gonna, I'm not planning on having any rock-type Pokemon. Seven siblings. Okay, alright. Time to move on, guys. I don't think we'll have time to take on the gym, because we have some business at Burn Tower once we get to Equitique. Oh, wait! We can talk to this guy. Oh, no, no, darn it. Hiya! Oh my goodness, holy crap. Should I have any bricks, but I can sure give you something to break bricks with. TM31, yes, that was worth it. Um, I'm not sure if this is a feature in original Heart Gold. Uh, I almost want to say it's not. It might be though. I might just be like imagining things. Hyper Potion, sweet. Uh, that's pretty early for a Hyper Potion though, honestly. Route 37, uh, we're gonna avoid those trainers. We're gonna take on this double battle though. Like I said, I'm not trying to tra take on every single battle. That's just like too much to ask. We're gonna try out mine here actually. Um, uh, yeah, we're gonna try on mine. Hopefully this is a double battle. Um, oh my gosh, another one of these freaks. Oh, aren't you such a cute little trainer? Oh my gosh, just shut up. Hey there, young trainer, won't you battle with me? Wow, I'm battling two pricks. Alright, Beauty Callie and Ferris Lady Cassandra. Maybe I shouldn't have called them pricks, that was a bit offensive, but, you know. I'm battling two, two weird ladies. Alright, we can probably use mine now, uh, if we want, which is cool. You're no good. Hey! Oh, you're good. Okay, I just totally read that wrong. And we have such a good matchup against the next gym. Um, oh, perfect. We got through. Okay. 
I'm gonna go heal up. Oh, I'll show. I'll leave it on screen. Maybe there's some good, cool people in the Pokemon Center. Oh, I am glad I left it on screen. Look who it is. Okay. Hey, I'm Bill. Who are you? Ro, huh? You know what? I'm the one who developed this. Okay. Stop bragging, dude. Stop bragging, bro. Go from Lynette. My friends all over the world are working together. Blah, blah, blah. Just give me something, please. Oh, he's going back to Goldenrod. I think in the original games it gives you an Eevee, but that's probably not true in this game, because Cynthia gives you the Eevee, which is cooler, but um, it's different, I guess. And I have a feeling that guy in the top right with the glasses might give us something, so we're going to go talk to him. I don't actually know, I just have a hunch, just because those guys, like, if anything, tend to give you stuff, because that's the sprite that represents, like, uh, the professor's aides and such, I guess. He already gave us. Oh, okay, never mind, he didn't give us anything. Okay, anyways, moving on. Uh, we might as well enter Burn Tower here. Um, I kind of wanted to evolve Corfish this episode, but we're just going to have to do it next episode, honestly. Uh, I don't see it happening this episode. Um, Alright. Oh, that's not Burn Tower. What the heck am I doing? Rohan, it's not even a tower, you idiot. Oh, there's, a, there's an item there on the left. i got to remind myself to get it when I go back. Oh, it's this guy. Oh my gosh. This guy is like... This guy is literally gay for Suicune, it's ridiculous. Oh, well not gay, because I guess Suicune doesn't have a gender, but he just like... I swear to god, he like, wa he's like, he wants bestiality with Suicune. We're not gonna go into it, people. He's just obsessed with Suicune. But anyway, we get to hear cool live battle music, which is awesome. No! What is with this guy? He's such a, such an ass, jeez. Like, it's literally the best word I can use to describe him. And he's gonna battle us, okay, cool, dude, cool. Um, we're just gonna annihilate him though. I don't think he has much of a chance. Murkrow, oh, what a scrub, level 25. Ah, actually, that's kind of high level, so I take it back. Uh, but I think we can just annihilate it with like a couple of crab hammers. If not just one, honestly. That does a lot though. Murkrow's kind of scary. Maybe I shouldn't underestimate him. Oh wow, that does so much though. Uh, we're gonna water pulse here. Mega attack, this won't kill us, it'll do a lot though. Okay. In worst case, if we need to heal up Shayla, we can just sack Togepi. Um, sorry, Togepi. <laughs> Alright, so on, Murkrow's down. I could have used Honchkrow on my team, I suppose. Would have been a good flying type. Um, I just realized I don't think I have a flying type on my team, so I'm, I'm gonna have to take care of that somehow. Uh, let's go with Akame for this. Akame can probably like one or two shot Elekid. Uh, Elekid's kind of scary though. Oh, well, Elekid isn't scary at this stage, but, like, Electabuzz and Electivire are scary. Uh, Ominous Wind. If we get a stat raise, we can probably just sweep this team, which is hilarious. Uh, please, stat raise. That would be nice. Okay, no stat raise. Shockwave. This will do a decent amount, probably. It definitely won't come close to, like, killing us or anything. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, okay, and now we'll Nightshade. That should kill it. I doubt it has more than 25 HP at this point. 26, excuse me for being off by one. Alright, mine got some good experience. Akama got some good experience. Kadabra, we might as well just stay in. We probably don't outspeed, but eh. Uh, we can try. Yeah, okay, figures. Oh, darn it. That might kill us, actually. That probably will kill us. Wow, okay, that wasn't smart. Um, we might outspeed with Houndour, though? Who knows? Uh, or we could try mine out. What moves does it have? It wouldn't really do... Yeah, what the heck, we'll try out mine, we'll try out mine. Maybe a couple of Astonishes will kill this thing, um... I mean, it's attack, physical attack isn't the best, but it's worth a shot. And why are you doing that? I'm not a Dark-type. That doesn't help if I'm not a Dark-type. Anyways. Oh, darn it, it doesn't do as much as I'd like. Uh, we're gonna try a Shockwave here, see if that does any more. Disable! Oh, it's a good thing I went for Shockwave, okay. I predicted that, people. I totally predicted that. Um, Shockwave definitely won't do more, but it was worth a shot, I suppose. Um, I don't know. Wow, that might not even KO from here. Psybeam? Okay, this will do a lot. Uh, actually, we can take it well, actually, I think. Yeah, that's not bad, considering it's a freaking Kadabra, and Kadabra's kind of powerful. Um, hopefully we kill it here. I don't want it to use potions, because that's just going to be annoying. Thank you, okay. Wow, I actually got kinda lucky there for once. 807 experience? Holy crap. Haunter, uh, we will switch into bulls. Bows. Go kill them, bows. 
I don't know why I'm doing that voice. It's kind of a weird voice. Uh, I think his last Pokemon is Croconaw, and Leone just wrecks Croconaw, so... Yeah. Um, our rival is not that strong, in my opinion. Like, Whitney would wreck him. We actually didn't have a great matchup against Whitney, too, now that I think about it, because she had a ton of normal types, and our ghost types cannot hit hit her normal types. You know what? We're actually going to give Mayan a shot at Croconaw, um... Because Mayan has been doing pretty well this battle, I suppose. Beat up... Uh, I suppose we could. We could get rid of Howl. Beat up's not bad. Howl and Bulls Bulls learn beat up. I guess I can pronounce it either way, because it is spelled with an R. Uh, but whatever. Oh, no, that's not the right thing. Mine, go get him. Go get him, mine. Hopefully this thing doesn't have a dark type move. Thinking about that now, it might not have been the best play. But, eh, it's too late. It's too late. Wow, level 27. Sometimes you're okay fighting back. Dude, I have all my Pokemon left. Oh, well, do I? I don't know. Regardless, there's like no chance you can possibly win this right now, and you're still calling me weak. That's ridiculous, dude. That's ridiculous. Okay, 2KO, not bad. Bite! Oh, crap. I think we're dead. Darn it. Darn it. Mr. Vince, you suck. I changed my mind about you. Uh, we're gonna go with Shele. Although, I don't know if this will kill, actually. So we can we can try it. Don't you get that I'm going easy on you? Clearly not, dude. Bite? Oh, okay, never mind. We're idiots, people. Okay, now we're gonna stop messing around and we're just gonna go with Leone and wreck this thing. Sorry about that, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I don't know why I'm saying that, like, I don't know. Uh, we're gonna go for Spark. Flail, that's not really gonna do much. I mean, yeah, I guess I do apologize a lot of my videos, but eh, I mean. I feel kind of bad when I like, do something wrong. Um, okay, good, it's dead. Um, when like you know, like the content isn't great. Uh, I don't know. Even though it's like not my fault from the time, because like the emulator will be acting up and such. Uh, but I try to make these videos like as professional as possible. No swagger is like the devil's move. Yes, dude. One of my friends who's like new to Pokemon is like, oh, I use this new strategy called swagger foul play, and I was like, dude, I'm defriending you, like. In life. <laughs> I don't know what that means, you're fighting you in life. I was like, you're not my friend anymore. Because <laughs> I hate Swagger Foul Play so much. I mean, I, I was kidding, obviously, but you know. You would never be able to catch a legendary Pokemon anyway. What is that guy's problem? He's probably just got like emotional issues or something. That dude is like clearly emo. Oh, it's lagging. Oh, crap. Okay, guys, we glitched out, but as I've said before, this is a really easy fix. So I'll see you in a sec. Alright people, we are back. I just restarted the game. It's super easy to fix. But looks like we're gonna have our first encounter with some legendary Pokemon here. Holy crap. Raikou and Tain Suicune. Um, we can't use any of them, obviously, because they're not darker ghost types. And I don't like using legendaries in general. Um, although, like, I would like I would be okay with using, like, Entei, for instance. Because I don't think Entei is actually that good. I think it's really cool, though. Um, anyways, this guy is just, like, totally riding Suicune's dick right now. <laughs> I'm not even going to bother reading what he says. This guy annoys me so much. Anyway, we will meet again. Cool, dude. Alright, well now Morty's going to go back to the gym. I love doing the voice for Morty. Hey guys, my name's Morty. I'm like, you know, like all emo and stuff. I like ghost Pokemon. Okay, I'm just going to go, you know, seclude myself in a corner now. Shadow Claw! That's great for a physical attacking ghost type, which who knows, we might get one soon. Hint, hint. Um... You know what? Actually, I want to check something, guys. I'll be back. Alright, guys, I'm back. And the Pokemon that I wanted to catch is actually the next Pokemon, the final Pokemon of our, for our team, is actually going to be a Burnt Tower here. So I'm going to look for it, and I will see you guys in a sec. Oh, wow, we encountered it on our first try, actually. Holy crap. That's right, guys. We're going to be using Shuppet, and I'm so excited to use this thing. Um, I mean, I was debating between Dusknoir and Shuppet, and I definitely decided to go with uh, Shuppet, just because I think Dusknoir is more used. Um, it's probably a better Pokemon, to be perfectly honest. Uh, but Shuppet is really cool, and I really want to use Shuppet, so we're going to use it. Gotcha, Shuppet was caught. Alright. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Shuppet's dad was added to the Pokedex. Alright. You want to name the capture Pokemon? Yes. I'm actually going to nickname, nickname this thing Kurame, uh, because I figure it's like kind of a puppet, and Kurame, you know, controls dead puppets and stuff, and it's a ghost, and like, I don't know. I feel like it kind of, Kurame kind of suits it, so. We're going to have Akame and Kurame on the same team, which is really cool. Um, 
And if you guys don't understand why I'm nicknaming uh, these Pokemon these names, then go and read the Akame Got Kill manga. But wow, that was actually kind of uneventful. But um, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, as usual, please feel free to write, like, comment, rate, and subscribe. The comment question of the day is: What is your favorite? Physical attacking Pokemon. My physical attacking Pokemon would be something like Conkeldur, Darmanitan, something like Bayonet even. Um, but yeah, if I had to choose, I'd probably go with Gyarados because as you guys know, Gyarados is my favorite Pokemon. But definitely let me know what you guys think on that. Um, and I will see you in the next episode of Pokemon Sacred Gold Sinister Challenge.